Hi everybody, Mona here from Mona Rosa Art. It's been a long time, really a long time. Oh, this is going fast now for me to even mention the colors uh, because I actually um, made it go double the speed, but I'm going to go ahead and mention the colors anyways. So, um, the first color was Amsterdam uh, Sky Blue Light. The second color is uh, Liquitex uh, Green Turquoise. Third color is um, Retuwick uh, Turquoise. Let me just make sure the name is, I do not, don't use, Riotic, Riot, Riotic. Uh, turquoise and uh, the fourth color is um, Josania, a mix of colony blue and jade and then the other the darkest color is uh, primary uh, blue from Liquitex mixed with uh, Prussian blue and that is the darkest color of all. Now, the color that I make that has silicone is a mix also of um, Amsterdam light gold and artist loft um, copper. So the, these are the colors. And I just made a white just in case I need to uh, make one color lighter and I just I haven't used it now the base is I just it's white but just I added a tiny bit of um, sky blue light from Amsterdam to give me that only tinge of uh, blue for the base color uh, now most of my experience is in uh, bloom technique, so I had to um, find um, a reference for uh, where I would start with this. And I have been watching um, uh, Jessic, <laughs> Chris Jessic. Uh, Yet when it was time to mix my paints, I kind of changed my recipe. Anyways, everything is uh, gonna be mentioned in, um, in the description box of what I did and what I uh, should have done, not done or should have done. Uh, but basically one point that I should um, be mentioning because now we are only laying the colors anyways, you know, and you can lay them any way you want. <laughs> so, um, basically I use here uh, different brands, so many actually, and every brand uh, had a different consistency. And so when I painted, when I actually used uh, the same recipe in which I use six tablespoons um, of uh, US float, float roll, uh, four tablespoons of paint, and two tablespoons of water. First of all, that's too much because I'm, I'm going to be using them now for a while, um, but you can go ahead with teaspoon and go with parts, you know. And in that case, it's you get just the amount enough for that specific um, painting, and you don't have a, a lot, you know. I have a, actually a lot of sweating now for different painting, but maybe that's good because I'm also learning different techniques now. This is my first time. I've done this when I started long way, like three years back, 
kind of forgotten about that. So basically now I laid the colors uh, at around two thirds of my uh, canvas and my canvas is um, 10 by 20 inches. And I followed basically the um, Chris idea that to put the colors like at a one third and then she starts by um, swiping the small part so that if it doesn't look good, then she swipes the uh, large part, you know. Now, I'm learning and I hope that you're also learning with me and learning from my mistakes because I'm going to point them to you. And now here you will see now the result I got. And I, even though I like it, but here I used silicone and I used um, two metallics. And that's why I got, you'll see now, I got so many cells, like overcrowded. Look at that. Now, it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. But what I'm saying is if you don't want that and you want like cells that are larger um, and, you know, not, not overcrowded, then you can use only one um, one kind of metallic or even not use metallic at all because you're going to put silicone in your swipe color anyhow, you know. So again, you know, I, this is um, a message to take home. Now, when I did uh, use the two metallics and on top of that there is a silicone, this is the kind of uh, swipe that we did uh, you know, different than uh, the bloom technique. But look at the amount of cells that I got. They are way too much, you know. So if you're looking also for this and you're not, um, you know, I mean, you can get this look also without uh, Australian float shawl and you know if you if you like and now another thing is um here i try to you know there was a tiny tiny bit that was not covered in cells and i was like yeah here i i go let's uh, <laughs> let's um tilt but if you tilt you lose that a uh, nice um, uh, organized uh, cells and then you tend to have some parts that are like kind of you know not not in unison so in unison so and uh, now what I did here is one part that I didn't like and I try to swipe it again. You can do that, of course, because then it gave me, I mean, it took that patch of um, uh, the copperish, um, uh, you know, copperish patch and gave me more dark blue cells. And um, now, I wasn't really happy with the center, I must say. So let's see what I did. Here. Please guys, uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I need to get this number. <laughs> I need to reach 2,000. This 2,000 became too much. I mean, I have been busy with life events and it's beyond me sometimes, but um, I'm trying and I'm also putting some... Every time I come across uh, a point to teach, now I started putting one minute um, 
tip because I can sometimes uh, make videos as regular as before. So at least like I'm trying to kind of, if I remember something that could be beneficial, then I want to share it with you guys. And I came up with this one minute uh, tip. Now, like I said here, the center, I wasn't happy with and I tried with the fork. I mean, just like, you know, to come, but yeah, well, I don't like the idea that I tilted. Uh, I lost, uh, yeah, the lines became not what I want. But again, like, like I said, here it was part of the moment, let me just do it. And even though I tried also for my paints to be equally in, um, you know, how dense and density, uh, still some came to be thinner than others. Tiny bit, still another message to take home. So now here, I decided to, you know, do something for the center. I wasn't happy with it, it was ruining the, the look. And uh, here I went with the colors in uh, different, you know, whatever, um, um, whatever you decide, you know, there is no order here. And then I decided <laughs> to swipe it. And it was not also easy to swipe with that shoe paper. For me, it wasn't easy, you know. So now again, look at the cells here. It's quite rich, you know, but I love, I love the colors uh, of the cells. But I mean, when I, <laughs> when I look at the painting now, I see like a kimono, you know, <laughs> with a, that middle belt, white belt. Now here you can see the, the cells and different kinds. Some of them are fluffy beautiful some have um multi-layered also some of them are multi-layered um look at this here the edge is beautiful you know it has a different kind of cells it has uh, what they call kitten cells uh, not kitten uh, that's a dutch uh, the, the necklace you know this the chin the chin and look at those cells i mean you know the colors the priggies the turquoise i mean i, I love i love to go on and on <laughs> flirting with my cells <laughs> so like i said you know um, you don't have to use here fluffy cells. I love these cells here. Um, so yeah, again, next time I'm gonna try with the main color, a color that has silicone, to be a different uh, uh, color, like not a metallic, and see, we will see uh, the difference then. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe, like, ring that bell so that you get um, the next videos. It's going to be a bit of crafty. Um, and maybe if you want, I can go in details about um, making accessories and then it's going to be like in details and, you know, not in one go. Um, let me know if that is uh, that would be of interest to you and uh, let's go from there thank you so much for watching bye bye